Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, your station where you watch and experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis, taking you through chemistry form one. And, and to the goals of this lesson, as we go through the goals, please pay, st pay tuned to more lessons to come. So, pay attention throughout this lesson and to the goals of this lesson. And uh, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define base, you state the properties of bases and you list the uses of bases. So what is a base? It is important for us to ask ourselves this question. According to Alhenius, a base is defined as a substance that ionizes in water, forming hydroxide ions as the only negatively charged ions. A uh, base has been defined by various scholars and according to Bronsted and Lolly, uh, a base is defined as a proton acceptor. That is, it accepts a positively charged ion. And uh, examples of bases may include a sodium hydroxide. And as you can see, it ionizes in water, given, giving us sodium ions and hydroxide ions. We have calcium hydroxide, giving us calcium ions and hydroxide ions. Magnesium hydroxide, again, hi, uh, ionizes or dissociates in water to give us magnesium ions, which are positively charged, and hydroxide ions. And as you can see, in all these uh, substances, we have hydroxide ions. They determine the basic property of a substance. So what are the properties of bases? Reaction with acids. Basically, we have looked at how acids react with bases. So bases react with acids a similar way. So they react with acids to form salt and water. The products are neither acidic nor basic. If they are not acidic nor basic, therefore, this process is referred to as neutralization because the products formed are neither acidic or basic, alkaline in nature. And two examples, we have sodium oxide, which reacts with hydrochloric acid, giving us sodium chloride and water. We have magnesium chloride, uh, uh, sorry, oxide, which reacts to give us magnesium chloride and water. Copper 2 oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to give us copper 2 chloride and water. And these are examples of neutralization reactions. More examples that help us understand how uh, bases react with acids, giving us salt and water. There's uh, one thing which is important for us to understand in bases, amphoteric bases. Some of these bases react with uh, other bases and they react with acids as well. So what does that mean? They have both acidic and basic properties. And these amphoteric bases include zinc oxide is one of them. We also have aluminum oxide, which gives us another example of amphoteric oxide. We also have red 2 oxide, which is uh, another, example, so another example of uh, amphoteric oxide. So it's very important for you to keep in mind that we have amphoteric oxides, or bases in that case. They react with both acids and bases. So if a base reacts with an acid, it is acting as a base. If this base reacts with another base, so in that reaction, it is acting as an acid. So what is the pH value of bases? The pH value of a base is above 7. It increases to the right up to 14 which is the strongest base. And that means from neutral onwards to 14, those are bases. And we will look at more classification of bases with reference to their pH value. So what are the uses of bases? One, manufacture of detergents. For instance, sodium hydroxides. Uh, detergents are commonly used in cleaning. They improve the cleaning properties of water. Different types of detergents have been used. We have soap detergents and soap press detergents. Other bases like magnesium oxide have been used to manufacture anti-acid tablets. We also have uh, in agriculture, they are used to lower the pH of soil. 
So if the pH of soil is below 7, that means it is acidic and does not favor uh, the, uh, the, the production of certain crops. Therefore, an agricultural officer may recommend application of calcium oxide or wood ash. This will basically raise the soil pH and this maintains it at optimum levels for which production can be or can take place. Others are used in the manufacture of uh, the toothpaste, the likes of fluoride and zinc uh, oxide, which basically uh, improves our tooth and and breath. So now let's look at uh, the, uh, the test of this lesson. Did we get to understand the goals of this lesson? So what is a base? There is three uses of bases. Question number three, explain how bases react with acids and give a reason why an agricultural officer may recommend the application of soda lime in a piece of land. You can refer this information to secondary chemistry students book one, or you can give us or send us a text through the number on your screen, or visit uh, Erimu TV at YouTube or Facebook, or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, stay tuned for more lessons to come.